Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Raptrex here with Good Clean Gaming RX, and today we are back in Portal 2 once again, uh, trying to figure our way out of this area. And I'm starting to think actually that I need to cross this and then drop down to here and then take that all the way across over to there and jump up there and hopefully enter through those doors to get out of here. Otherwise, we're going to have to see if we can continue to go through there. But I don't I don't think that's the way that we are supposed to go. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and set up my portals once again. Go. And yeah, because we can't we can't get this way. Um there's no way to no way to go through there um, and this one doesn't run all the way around so um, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll leave let's see that one right there no nope, we do need it over a little bit right there there we go and then we're gonna go ahead and see if I can make it jump over to there and then we'll take that across over there and down so without further ado here we go Oh, oh, almost. There we go. For those of you who are just joining us, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, oh, oh, close. All right, so that was that was where we need to go. As far as that goes, it would, oop. Can't, get, can't get through there. Okay, very good. So we are on top of here now. Go ahead and see. This will allow us to, yes it will, walk all the way over here. Oh, good. Okay, there we are. Hmm, I don't think, I don't think we can get into there. Now, I'm quite sure that that's, we can get into there either. And that one's not uh, not showing any way to get there either. And uh, goodness, yep, nothing, nothing there. Okay, so that's dot it. Um, we're definitely going to have to follow that one through there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I was actually thinking about this in between videos, and I think I need to put that portal a little bit lower this time around. So I'm going to go ahead and. There we go, we'll do that, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this portal oh, right about there or so. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to check something here. Okay, so there's no way to turn on the uh, turn on the funnel like there was in the last one. So we're just going to have to do this the hard way. And uh, hopefully, be able to make that jump by putting it in, in the right spot. Here we go. Oh. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to move this just slightly to right there. There we go. Oops. Alright. Go ahead and we'll put this one back up there. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> okay, so we have to have to jump up to here. There we go, and then go ahead and set this one again. Uh, we'll do that one right there, and I think that should 
should do it. All right, here we go. Once more into the hole. Oh! Ah, goodness. All right. <laughs> set this back a little there we go a little closer to the edge there we are oh. well that was a little too low <laughs> I'm thinking probably need to set that about right hmm, about right there or so. So we'll put that we'll put that there on this next round. So I, I don't see any way of making this jump. Now we'd we'd have to be going a tremendous speed to be able to make that jump through there. Yeah, no, there's there's no way to do that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go around then. <laughs> Try one more time. That's that's definitely not working. And I don't see any way of getting through over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Hang on. Maybe that's it. We've gotta be going. Oh, maybe that's it. Okay, let's try this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set this up right there. Does that work? That might. It might work. We'll give it a shot. Oh, hey, there we go. All right. <laughs> Finally. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Goodness. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Oh. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Oh. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. Oh, goodness. You'll know when the test starts. <laughs> That's comforting. <laughs> That's comforting. Do not fall down elevator shaft. <laughs> well, I kind of figured that might be a bad idea. All right, let's see here. Pump station alpha. Can we... No, we can't place anything there. Okay. Um, I'm going to say we probably don't need to fall down there. That would be a bad idea. How about... Over there. Can we do... No, there's nothing there either. Oh. How about right there? There we go. Perfect. Alright. Go ahead and do this as well. There we are. Very nice. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Experiment discontinued. Alright, can we open any of these? Up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. Oh boy. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. That's comforting, I think. Ooh, so is this another one of those funny jumps? I bet you it is. All right, so hmm. So we could put 
a portal there. If we do that... Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> if we do that, we're going to have to jump all the way through here and end up over there. Which is possible, but I don't like my chances. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this one here so that we can step out there. There we go. And then we'll put one of these back over there. Perfect. And then I feel like No, that's not going to be the way to go. Do not fall down elevator shaft. Okay. Ooh. This will be an interesting one. That's... <laughs> that's... It's crazy. But... It <laughs> seems, seems to be par for the course. So, here we go. Geronimo! Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, that was a, a little bit... Um, <laughs> that was a little bit scary, actually. That's um, not, not something that I would uh, recommend for those who are... Red of Heights? Don't, don't look down. There we go, and... Oh, no, we can't do that. All right. Uh, no, no over here either. Okay. Nor oh, can we do it there. Or there. Or can we get out? <laughs> Okay, so that's obviously not the way to go then. It's got to be some sort of button to open this, I would imagine. There we go. Um, oh, there we are. Perfect. Okay. Go up there either, okay? We do that. Let's take a look. I almost think. Yeah, I almost think that's probably one of our. Perfect. Gel flow. Something tells me we've got to follow this. So that that doesn't look doesn't look safe. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. No hand holding. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. I feel like we're going to be going directly back into the testing area. Hello, there we go. Thank you. Oh, goodness. All right, let's get started. That's this bright. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Oh, goodness. But informative. 
or so I'm told. This test is unsolvable without an Aperture Science Portal quantum tunneling device. If you have not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any Shaft 09 enrichment activities. <laughs> okay. So, Repulsion Gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a dietetic pudding substitute. Gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic... Slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation <laughs> that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out his or her mouth for various reasons. This product was pulled from the shelves. <laughs> I wonder why. Okay, so... And it gives us a, a little bounce there, I guess. Um, and that would be the exit. All right, so there we go. Hmm. Something tells me I need a box. Yeah, probably right there. Alright, so where do I... Oh, there we are. Alright. Perfect. Got the box. Alright, very good. should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all day. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> Gonna have to... Uh, have to edit that. There we go. All right. Perfect. Hang on, what have we got here? Interesting. So we're gonna go this way. Oh, hmm. Maybe that's the direction that we needed to go then. Hang on to your hats. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. go. Perfect. So that opens that up. Oh goodness. I must say, it is, it is rather ingenious. 
There we go. Alright. And now that's got that open. Go ahead and do that. In case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. No. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Oh boy. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I'm never going to get out of here alive. He's, um, he's All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because uh -oh. that's not part of the test. That's oh. asbestos. That's Good news <laughs> is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Right. Oh, here we go. Caution, do not lean on railing. Yeah, that looks nasty. Okay. So, hmm, exit. Up there. Okay. Well, I don't see anywhere that we can put any sort of... Any sort of drop anything really here. So as far as that goes, I don't think that's going to be a good solution. That doesn't go on there either. Okay. Do not lean on railing. That's comforting. Hang on. Oh. Okay, I'm going to say we probably have to go through there. It's definitely not that bit then. <laughs> oh. There we go, perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll use that. do that. However, I'm sure I can probably get up there. Oh. Hang on, what's this? Oh, well. Now, <laughs> now we are not supposed to get covered in that stuff, so... enter through there either. Alright. <laughs> Something tells me we may not get a choice. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. I don't see that as being a solution. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, however... We do like this. Yes, I think that'll work quite nicely. All right. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. <laughs> We've literally, literally painted this whole thing with, um, hmm. That's not going to work. All right. Um. Nor is that. Oops. Okay. See if we can paint this whole thing blue. <laughs> hey, so. working either. So, let's see here, if we... got to get over to there to get to the exit uh, but to get there we're gonna have to jump there we go all right Go 
perfect. All right. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to need to do that one there. So that we can bounce all the way over there. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's no forwards there. Okay. about when I jump from here it seems like it'd be an incredibly Well, that was the right idea, at least, but we needed to be going much faster. You know what? I'm thinking. Thinking. I'm thinking. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, you know what? That's not going to work either, because I needed to... They've gone and done something tricky here. Ah! <laughs> okay. be going at a much higher speed to be able to get going through there so 
Let's go ahead. Oh, no, that's not going to do it either. Oh, goodness. Can we... Oh, that's it. That's it right there. <laughs> there we go. That's what we needed. That's what we needed right there. All right. So we'll go ahead and do that. And that gives us the bounce that we need. So we just need to be able to bounce right through here. Oh! Heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. <laughs> There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm no. serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Oh boy. All right. Well, we'll have to wait and see if that reaction triggers in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, because we've gone over our 30 minutes on this one. So I will see you all in the very next episode. Take care, everyone. Ta-ta.